Hello, I'm Stephen Rush. I'm the director and the founder of the Digital Music Ensemble at the University of Michigan. Uh, we've been doing this for about 25 years. It started out with Paul Boylan as, as dean saying, we, let's get this thing going. Let's get music technology into the conservatory. He gave us a, a room filled with the lovely Casio CZ-101s, the Emacs samplers, and a bunch of Mac Pluses. And from there, it was pretty much a question of what music to make. The obvious thing, of course, was to do something like Switched on Bach, you know, and Wendy Carlos. And we did a Bach Brandenburg Concerto, but we also did uh, things like um, Cornelius Cardew's Great Learning, the Unanswered Question by Charles Ives on synthesizers, mind you. Um, but, you know, Terry Riley's in C, and we did some open improvisation type works as well. Quickly, the, the ensemble moved into its own compositional space, and some of that was inspired by my own interest in comparative mythology or comparative religion. So I'd give them some readings by Joseph Campbell or other things. They would look at the symbology of the circle or goddess religions or the hero's journey and then create work out of that. Um, and one of the larger projects that, that grew out of that was Gypsy Pond Music, which is an annual production that takes place in the School of Music Pond. And there are a fair amount of YouTube videos out there that, that show that work. You can see them elsewhere. That was one part of it. And then the other part of, of this, this ensemble moved into the realm of inter, interfaces and sensors and experimentation, laboratory type stuff. And um, we've experimented with all manner of movement interfaces and you know, light sensors, touch sensors. Uh, we worked with easy IOs, which were invented here at the University of Michigan uh, by Michael Rodemer. Um, and of course, now we use Arduinos, uh, which is a little bit easier. One of the exciting little bumps along the way was in the mid-90s when um, the Smithsonian kind of looked at us and said, hey, this is interesting. So they gave us an award for um, advancement of, of technology or something of the sort. So the Smithsonian Compu World, I guess it was called at that time. And also started working with composers outside the university, composers that I think are really truly important to the American tradition. Um, one of the first was Blue Jean Tyranny, who was a founder of, one of the founders of uh, the Once Group. And Blue came out and we did a residency with him and recorded a CD called Go Blue. We also worked with uh, another founder of Once Group called, uh, named Robert Ashley and Robert's work, uh, Kit Carson, was one of the in, in memoriam pieces. We did his opera here and then in New York. We also worked with Pauline Oliveras, who came and did a residency. We did a DVD with her. And um, over the years, we've done three, three significant premieres that, I, I can, that come to mind. One is the North Star by um, Philip Glass. North Star had been recorded by Phil, but never released as a, you know, a score. So we developed a score based on his sketches, and that's now available through George Shermer and did a complete performance of that work. And I went to New York and interviewed and talked with Lamont Young about his butterfly piece, lecture 1960, number five. And we ended up actually growing butterflies and releasing them into the concert space, which was, is what that piece is about. It's the first time that piece had been done, actually. I also premiered the theater version of Circus On um, in the early uh, 2000s. Uh, using the text from Einstein's Dream, and then later on we did a version of Circus On with Huckleberry Finn. Lately we've been doing some telematic work as well. Uh, we did a recent performance with Pauline Oliveris and Henry Grimes from the Albert Eiler Ensemble, and Elliot Sharp came in and performed with us, and we connected up to Stanford, RPI, and Illinois, and also did some performances with a uh, Latin American uh, university in Columbia. So the future is sort of ours to, ours to explore. We don't really know where we're going. All this stacks up to a very interesting quarter of a century of innovation and ensemble work. And I hope you enjoy some of the videos that are uh, about to follow this. Thank you for listening.
Thank you. 